When boats began to carry perishable and expensive cargo, protection from the weather became essential. The procedure of clothing up a narrowboat was not only a practical skill, but became an art form. Somehow or other, you've got to keep them dry, floors dry. It was your responsibility. What you had to do is turn the floors up, and then just before that you was ready for loading, is put all the floors down again. But we always used to have the take them top cloths out and be on the cabin top. So as soon as you, you was loaded, you know, it was more handier to walk forward, drop your, your stern one first, then along the boat. When you got your top cloth folded back a bit to let some fresh air in there, and you could just see the side of the painted upright. If you had very bad windy day and you got a cloth up, there's one end you just put, the, put that weight on and then tie, get the other end tied. Sometimes you might have to just cut it temporary and then put it right later. It's a difficult job there when you're a new dock boat and uh, new top cloths to get that fore end sorted out uh, as regards the bend. Once you've got it right in your own mind, taking the sheet back and then folding it again, after two or three times you'd form a crease in the cloth. So that would be all right, but until you got that crease in the cloth, it was quite difficult to keep manoeuvring that backwards and forwards. If you'd like to buy a copy of the complete version of this film on DVD, or to learn more about clothing up a narrowboat, go to iarecordings.org and click on the link for sightseeing partnerships at the bottom of the page.